You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rocking if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby
channel or welcome if you're new um i am currently in minnesota um to see the mayo clinic for my lupus and um things kind of went a little hairy um not as planned but i'm still here and I want to show you guys what I got from Trader Joe's. It's my first time ever being to Trader Joe's because where I live in Kansas City, Missouri, we have a Trader Joe's, but it is downtown of Kansas City, and I'm way far away from that area. So um, I was so excited to get to a Trader Joe's and get some stuff that I needed for my stay here at the Airbnb. I did get an Airbnb because that way I could cook for myself and not eat out a lot because it's really unhealthy for you. And I'm kind of on this health kick right now and I'm trying to get healthier and I'm walking and I'm trying to keep my lupus in check and I'm just trying to do the best that I can with what I've got. So I'm going to show you what I've got here and um, comment down below what your favorite thing is to make with the things that I've shown here. So what, what I show, comment down below what you would make with those items because I would love to know because I am going to make certain things, but I want to know what you would make with them so that maybe I'll make them too. So, all right, here we go. So this is my whole haul. 
Um, this is the largest Airbnb for four days haul that I've seen. Um, I want to get the prices. Okay, so I'm also going to give you the prices of everything. So first things first. Um, I got some eggs here. I got 12 dozen large grade A eggs from Trader Joe's. And the eggs were, oh, $1.49 for a dozen of eggs. That's not bad, you guys. So the next thing I got was some potatoes. I got these, uh, teeny tiny potatoes they're the yellow ones and they were 229 for those which is kind of pricey but i'm gonna make those in, in three days worth because this is like three or four days worth of potatoes for me then i got some uh sweet potatoes and the sweet potatoes were two pounds of sweet potatoes for $1.79. That is not bad at all. Then I got some uh, green onions. The green onions were $1.49. Then I got two corns that were unshucked and for those two corns okay sorry guys my phone shut off so for the two corns i spent where are oh 79 cents each so yeah 79 cents each for the two Horns. Then I got a bag of teeny tiny avocado six count and the six count of teeny tiny avocados for my egg avocado toast <clears throat> was $3.99 for all of those for six of them. Then I got these sweet bites a dozen of them just for something sweet at night because I love having something sweet at night. $5.99 for these. $5.99. Then I got some organic baby lettuce mix. And the organic baby lettuce mix was $2.49 for this. Then I got some organic black pepper and pink pink salt crystals. For the salt, I spent $1.99 for the grinder of salt. And for the pepper, I spent $1.99 for the pepper. Then I got the uh, organic extra virgin olive oil. It was which I'll use on everything for dressings, everything. Let's see, olive oil. $3.99. Then I got minced garlic right there. And the minced garlic was $1.99. Then I got um, six peaches. The peaches were $3.49 for two pounds of peaches. Then I got some Trader, jo Trader Joe's um, bread here for my avocado egg toast. 
The bread was $2.99. Then I got some heavy, heavenly Villaggio Marzano tomatoes, which were sweet. And they were $2.79 for this package. Then I got an onion. The I'm picking up space here, picking up paste. Um, the onion was 99 cents. Then I got pure Irish Kerrygold butter, the salted kind, because I like the salted kind. And it was $3.49. Bouncing back over here. I got some organic cane sugar for my um, like fruit bowls and stuff like that. I do like a little sugar on them because I like sugar on my stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it just plain old Jane. Um, for that, it was $3.49. For the penne pasta. It was 99 cents for the panko breadcrumbs. The panko breadcrumbs were 179. The tomato basil pasta sauce was 179. The organic ranch dressing was 279 for bananas were 76 cents for four, looks like. No, yes, 76 cents for four. Strawberries were one pound of strawberries for 3.29. Then I got uh, peeled divine tail on 21 to 30 shrimp per pound raw shrimp for $9.99. I got a ribeye steak for $8.31. And it is also um, 0.52 pounds. 0.52 pounds. So almost a pound. That's pretty good. Then I got some chicken breasts for $5.86. And there's almost three. I don't know, there's two pounds of chicken in there. And I got two waters. And the waters were 0.15 liters each. And I got two of those and there were 69 cents per bottle. So that is my Big Trader Joe's Airbnb six day, six nights, seven day stay, and Airbnb in Rochester, Minnesota for the Mayo Clinic. And um, so that's everything there. I'm super impressed by the friendliness of people in Minnesota. I just wanna quickly say, a huge kudos to the doctors here that I did see for um, my lupus because I ended up having to go to the emergency room for a kidney infection. I know, right? Like, it comes along with lupus. Um, but I was so impressed by how nice everybody is here. People are so friendly like they are they go above and beyond for you the guy that took that took me home with these groceries actually loaded my groceries put my cart up unloaded the groceries to my door like brought my groceries up to the door and asked if i needed him to unload them for me i said no i'd be okay i did tip him very well because i thought that was very sweet of him where i'm from in missouri we don't do that i mean you're lucky if People will say hi or bye. It's kind of crazy, but we're not as friendly in Missouri as we should be. Um, but 
I have been doing so much here. I've been cleaning. I've been doing a lot of stuff. I ended up washing all the guys' dishes here that owns this Airbnb. I washed every single dish. I washed um, the container that the dishes go in. I did all his laundry that I did and didn't use. I wiped everything down and I just vacuumed and I tidied up. I dusted. I just felt like quite dusty. That's the right word. So I dusted and I got it up to par and I felt like, you know, that was nice because it was only $55 a night to stay here. So I got such a bang for my buck here where I'm at in Rochester, Minnesota. And um, if you guys want to know where that's at, I can post where I'm staying after I leave here. Um, of course, I'm not going to post where I'm staying while I'm here. Um, that would be weird and not smart of me. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to tell you guys that's what's going on. Um, I have to come back to Minnesota um, in a year because I did not get to see the correct doctors that I was supposed to see. Meaning, my doctor and the Mayo got confused. They thought I needed to see pulmonary, but my doctor wanted me to see pain management consult for my lupus. Because lupus, as you know, and if you don't know, is extremely painful. So, and it's crippling of the hands, joints, fingers, toes, legs everything and I've got more problems along than just lupus but anyway I'm not gonna get on the rom-com of that right now so um but yeah I want to get this video up and show you guys what all I've been doing here at my Airbnb and I've still got till Sunday it's currently Thursday yeah Thursday and I've got till Sunday I leave Sunday morning so I'm super happy that I got this Airbnb and yeah, so I will get off of here and quit yapping and let you guys watch the rest of the video. Mwah. I love you all and I can't wait to get back home, see my babies, my husband, give them hugs and kisses, and get back to normal life. If you haven't liked or subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it if you could like this video and all my other videos. And if you could subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button and the bell next to it so that's fully gray so you get notified every time I post a new video and leave a comment if you like and I am very observant towards my comments I do com I usually do comment back to every comment if it's you know nice or bad um and I'm constructive criticism I'm always up for that I'm not against it I'm not one of those um channels that deletes comments because I think they're rude. I mean, if you're going to post a comment, you're going to post a comment. If you think it's right or wrong, it's, that's on you. I mean, that's not on me. So, but, uh, I do my best to be as kind and as friendly as I can. And that's all I can do. So I do my best. So I love you guys so much and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah. I love you guys. Bye.
So this is the kitchen. I'm currently in the middle of cleaning everything. So this is the four seat kitchen. Um, it seats four, it's really, really beautiful. Um, then over here, we have the dishwasher. I just wiped the counters down. I gotta do that dish right there. Um, so I wiped all the counters down. I, I am in the middle of doing all of the dishes because I felt like his dishes were quite dirty or dusty, not dirty, but dusty. Sorry, I keep using the wrong word. So they're in the dishwasher, which I'll show you. Here is the dishwasher and like I literally did them all. So we're gonna put those away in a little bit and a lot of them go on this shelf too, which I'm going to wipe this all down. I did those um, hand towels up there, wash those up. Um, and then we have the sink, which I need to do up the one dish. Um, then we have the washer and dryer. That's the dryer. It's the washer. I currently have a blanket in there because I felt like it was, it was dirty and I used it and I wanted to clean it up before I leave here. Um, this is the counters and I'm going to currently clean all of the pans before I use them because they look dirty. They look like they've been sitting, so I'm going to clean them up. And then he's got stuff in here, like stuff I need, like for cooking. Um, um, up here, like bowls and such, measuring cups, stuff like that. Um, microwave, which I'm going to currently clean. Um, then we have which I just cleaned that and also then it's dirty again. I don't know what the deal is with that. But um, I wiped this all down. Then down here we have more space and the baking sheet it looks like I'll have to clean. Um, I'm currently washing all of the silverware so we'll put those in there once they're done. Which they are done, we just gotta put them away. Then there's um, coffee cups and mugs and coffee. And then this is the stove. That's going to bug me. Okay. So there's that. And then there's the fridge. I washed out the ice maker thingy um, right here because it was black inside of there. Had black specks in the ice so I rinsed it out washed it out with soap and water refilled it with new ice so it looks healthy so I have ice water and this is the food that I got because he doesn't have the ice machine hooked up which is fine and then here is the food that I got so that stuff down there, stuff in here, stuff in there, and the rest of the stuff in there. Then if you go in here, <clears throat> you've got the living room. It's kind of messy right now. I'm in the middle of tidying up, which you'll see that soon. I've got the TV over here, which I'm currently watching Shrek. <clears throat> forever after and then we got the fan and then we've got a lounger chair which I've been mostly using and then a table with the lamp and I like a fern thingy back there I don't know what they call it, a tree thing and then there's the couch there's a little desk with a mirror then if you go in here here is the bed and then directly adjacent is the uh, dresser, very nice, end table. Then if you go in here, this is a closet <clears throat> and it's got an iron, an ironing board and a long mirror. That's, that was pretty cool. 
Then if you go in here, we have the bathroom. So we've got um, the sink, extra towels, um, like a sitting area, um, the toilet. Oops, sorry. Should I get in here? Um, some pretty little things in here. And then of course the shower, which I'm going to be using here in a little bit. So it's quite nice here and I feel very home at home and I feel very, uh, welcomed here in Minnesota and everybody's so kind, like I said, and I'm just re really happy. So, um, with my stay here in Minnesota. So I'm actually from Missouri, so um, it's kind. It was a flight for me, um, but yeah. So thank you so much for watching my video today of my Airbnb stay, and I hope you all subscribe to my channel, and um, I hope you all like this video. It's something different, and. Uh, I hope you all have an amazing day and I love you all. Thanks guys. Uh, stay healthy.